how to handle unjustified criticism you know because uh, i have noticed this that people even lie and and they criticize which is which doesn't have any basis or you know uh, and i of course i do i do the reframing i try to you know uh, in such situations i try to create that antidote uh, yeah but but it emotionally it affects me I, I, and many of many a times i'm trying to do it again and again but i find it difficult to, to uh, break through when people just do unjustified criticism to pehle aapke sawal mein hi jawab hai aapka sawal your 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 answer your question has got the answer unjustified criticism means what is unjustified mean means jiska koi basis nahi hai is that person has to just talk about you so he just no 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 <laughs> unjustified the moment you say unjustified means what you are saying that he has no logic or no foundation to criticize me yes yeah in other words you are saying i am right you are wrong simple words may you are saying hey fool you don't know anything how can you say how can you blame me i have not done this what you are alleging me i have not done this you don't know it what proof do you have you are just doing whatever you want you are just thinking whatever you want come and find out the truth what it is let's say he, you are he is calling you a robber just for the sake of it okay i have not robbed i have not robbed how can you call me robber prove it to me i have not robbed any money i have not done anything like this this is the this is the conversation you are having with him in your mind mm. the conversation we need to have is Yes I understand because from your eyes of your looking you are seeing me as a robber or a cheat or a person who has done some gadbad okay which is perfectly right from your side I know what I am I haven't done it I am not like that I am so this is where forgiveness comes in way you have to forgive yourself you have to love yourself it has nothing to do with that person that person is in his journey in his energy field he is seeing everyone as liars a murderer will always suspect everyone a robber will always suspect everyone yes or no because it is his energy field is such that he better suspect because that is why he is robbing now are you a robber no so why are you doubting his or why are you getting you are falling into his trap you are falling into his energy he is able to pull you in his energy field you got to pull him in your energy pool or if you cannot pull him at least maintain your energy field so your energy field is what just sending love sending blessings now just see he is doubting you now you have also started doubting him he is criticizing you so you have also started criticizing you so who is got the power in this case who is got the power he has got the power he has the power because he is sucking you in his energy field yes and you are doing the sadhana so if you are doing the sadhana you are doing the practice of unconditional love the practice of nobodyness the practice of everything is okay the practice of daily logging in the practice of uh idfar 100 the practice of so many things if you are doing this you he will come to your energy field sooner or later and if he doesn't come doesn't matter you are on your journey you can yet send love because love is in your hands now you are having conditional love he is criticizing me i will criticize it's like you slapped me i will also slap you you may not do it physically but you are doing it mentally so how do you come out of it idfar the moment you catch it 5 dollars 5 pounds give it see 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 the see the see the see the whole thing it comes so effortlessly okay wonderful hmm 